Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Technique Thursday. I gotta come up with these fascinating entries like, hey everyone, it's Technique Thursday. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna believe what we're gonna do today. Yeah, I know, Lynn, calm down. So, Lynn has her distress inks. I've got some stamps here. Eclectica from Paper Artsy. I think these came from Simon Says Stamps. I will find the link and put it down below the video for you. Just some funky flowers. So I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna turn out, but you know me, I love to experiment with you guys. So let's start. Same thing we've done before. Art journal page, lots of water. Just let things happen. I love to just see what happens. So how's everybody's day? What is happening over there? where you are. It could be morning, it could be night. Here in the studio it's 1130. I'm just gonna get my red solo cup. Get lots of water. Get, pick up that pink. Again just blobbing it down. Seeing what happens. Where does it go? We don't know where it's gonna go. It could do anything actually can puddle and spread and just having fun. Yes, it's a great day today again. I've talked to the pups. I've explained this video shooting thing to them. I said, Mama got to shoot a video. You have to be very quiet. So Jack said, sure, I'll just lay on the couch here and stare at you because you're talking to nobody. And uh, they don't get it, right? I'm talking to praise and pray right now, buddy. Things are happening at Praise and Pray. I love seeing all your projects. Gosh, you guys, I can't say it enough. You're so talented. God made us all so unique, didn't he? And we all have such a different style. And we talk a lot about, well, what is my style? And I don't know. I don't think I have one. And my sister will say, oh, I can recognize your stuff a mile away. And then we think sometimes we have to change our style and go, well, you know, I can't do that all the time. Maybe I should, you know, do something else and change it up a bit. And every time I try to change it, it looks exactly the same at the end of what I'm comfortable doing. Of course, you know me, love polka dots, and I love a ton of polka dots and layers and things like that. So today, should have told you this before, I'm using mustard seed, picked raspberry, and some salty ocean. Thought to add some blue into this mix today. I'm loving working in this little book. It's just, it's freedom. I started working in it when uh, Ryan was flying to Africa and I was having a meltdown with him being, you know, gone and across the world and, oh, I had such issues with that. Ooh, this is pretty. This is like aqua. And I never know, that's one thing about distressing, because I'm online and I look at this and I think, oh, light blue. And it comes and it's like a turquoise kind of thing. <laughs> Don't you love kind of thing? <laughs> okay, ooh, this is fun. It's a fun color though. Quite loving it with the yellow and the pink. And I think that's gonna be enough. Whoa, what do you mean enough? Is it ever enough? And you can take an extra page and just stick it in that puddle you've got going too. I just clean mine up, but usually if I'm here by myself, I will just find another page and put it down and dry it up, but I don't want to keep you guys all day. So let's dry this. And I've been dying to use these flower stamps. I used them on um, the other art journal page. In this book, it was the very first one and uh, had lots of fun with them. But I thought I just, I don't want to color them. I just want to do them black on like the watercolor. We've got petals going on there. So now we have like a big empty space. No, we don't like that. Let's put some more distress ink down. Just grab the brush, grab some blue. See, you can go back. You can go back and add. Don't be afraid to add things. It's 
so now I feel I have to use all this blue up. Why do I put so much down? So we'll just bring it back into the spaces we've already been in and let that go. Got a little dog hair something happening here. There, perfect. I'm gonna let this dry and try to not put my paper towel and pick up all the color. We'll just, you can just move it wherever you think you gotta move it. It's fun and then it'll dry and make sort of this little shadowy border, which I think is kind of cool. So if you look here, you can see this kind of crazy little border. And I like that. To me, it adds depth into the page. So I'm just going to pop that off. Oh, here's a little bit of blue. Okay, are we dry? Yep, we're pretty good. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen with these flowers. I'm not exactly sure, but I really want to try. So, let's pick one. How about this one? You know what else I did? This is so cool. I stamped these on cardstock. And then I put them through my Cameo on my pick scan mat and I made all these masks for them. So I thought that was kind of smart of me because I'm terrible at hand cutting these little things. So I made masks for all of them, which I'm going to take out and just put over here. We may need them, we may not, I don't know. We're going to see what happens. So let's get the black stays on out and we'll give that a pounce if we can find the uh what do you call it acrylic block put the stamp on so we can give it a good squish and i just want to how about there see what happens when you do art journaling your stamp falls off and it ends up being right there oh that's kind of cool so if we want to do another flower we go you know what I want to do another one of these, but I want it to look like it's coming behind. So take your mask, put it over top of your stamp. We'll get some more ink on this. And you can laminate these or do whatever you want with them. So we've got that there, and we're going to say we want another one right here. So we'll stamp that on, and then this one looks like it's behind so that's kind of fun and i don't want to press too hard because i don't mind the little pieces not showing i'm okay with that because this is supposed to be a fun and crazy art journal page so maybe we'll try this one that's kind of cool i just love these on the other page i colored them all and i thought what happens if you just did them on black cool right so again, I'm going to use this, put it here. I'm going to stamp this one right over here. Sure, why not, right? And then that looks like it's coming out from behind. Ah, oh, let's do another one. Why not? Let's do one right here. And I got smart when I made my masks, and I made two of each flower, because you just never know what you're where does this one go like so okay so we have two masks down and we're gonna try to stamp this one right here cool if that we can always take our pen if you don't like it make your circle fill in the flowers so then we have this just kind of cool little background. I'm quite liking this little page. Now I think I might grab this one. Which one's that one? That's this one. Kind of cool. I like these. They're funky. And we'll put that in some just maybe random places. And you don't have to do it in black. We could do these in color as well, right? You can do whatever you want. And I love groupings of three. I know, I have an issue with threes. I'm very, maybe because I'm odd, huh, pun? 
I just like to do things in groups of three. I don't know why. That is kind of fun. I'm really digging that. And you can go in and add color if you want. You don't have to. Now also in here are these three little ones. So maybe we'll grab those and just put them on the block all together. And should we stick with black or maybe we should do them in another color? Hmm. Maybe we'll save the stenciling or something for the other colors. So put them here, maybe some here. I don't know, maybe some here. Keep them all kind of in one spot. Why not? Okay, so that's good for stamping for today. Put all those there on top of my saying. I'm going to maybe do some uh, my little mini texturized stencil. You guys, you know I love this. I use it all the time and I don't know. <coughs> I just really like it. So I'm going to take maybe some of the picked raspberry and make some little dots and doodads. Dots and doodads. That's what we'll call this page. Just add some fun into it and some dimension. Oh yes, this is turning out quite lovely. I'm always so surprised. I say it every video, but truly I am surprised when I go, hey, that's kind of cool. I kind of like it. And then maybe we'll take this blue and do some dots. Should we do dots? Let's put some right here. See how that works out. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. We love dots. Maybe we'll just do a row of them. And should we not? I keep thinking maybe I should just leave this alone. And uh, I think I might just do that. Go over the stamp a bit because that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll put some right here on the other edge of this little thing. Okay, that's quite lovely because we love polka dots. There. And you know my coffee stencil. I love my coffee stencil too, so I gotta play with that one. Play with some mustard seed. I would like to know who comes up with these color names because I think they're brilliant. I really do. I think that... I wonder if Tim Holtz comes up with these names. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we'll put some there. Maybe a drip in here. Maybe one over here somewhere. Just have fun. It's all about having fun. I know I say it every video. Relax, have fun. But then when it's time for me to work in my new Bible, I freak out and I go, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. But I'm getting better. And I also thought working in this book would help me get into my interleaf Bible because the interleaf Bible is a full blank page. So for me, this was kind of an experiment of how do I fill up a whole page? And this book, my mixed media book is nine by I think 11 or 12. So it's a big page. So there's lots to do on this page. And uh, you know, I don't know how I feel about that, but it's working well. And I also found out that I like not covering the whole page. I only like to kind of do things in the middle. So yeah, I know, kind of weird. All right, I'm thinking maybe a couple circles. I'm gonna go back to picked raspberry and just do like a circle in the middle here. You guys are going to get tired of watching me in my art journal. I need to work in my other journal. And sometimes I play in this when I'm kind of like done. I'm like, I'm all done my journals. So I play in here and if I can get to take them to, to the cabin, 
then gosh, I can accomplish a lot. Because <laughs> that's all I have to do. So I could just work on them and work on them and work on them. Okay, so our little saying of the day is, lay the foundation of God in your life first. Everything else will fall into place if you trust and believe. And how true is that? It's all about trusting him. And I say it a thousand times, my story of the other day was with Ryan and something kept pulling me to Jeremiah 29 11. And I hadn't done that page kit yet. I'm not sure I want this, so I'm just gonna keep moving it around while we chat. And uh, so I, I just didn't know what I wanted, what to do. I was so flustered with him being gone. And then when I went to Jeremiah 29, 11, it just kept bugging me and bugging me. And I go, okay, you know what? I'm going over there to see what, what it's all about. I think we're going to put it down here, actually. Okay, stop fussing, Lynn. Where's that little glue brush? So um, I go to Jeremiah 29, 11, and it says, you know, God goes, I know the plans I have for you. And I just felt this peace come over me. I go, God's got this. He is taking care of Ryan. He knows what is going to happen and he knows the plan he has for him. A year ago, would I think Ryan would have been in Africa? No. I think you ladies and praise and pray have had a huge effect on his life. He says to me all the time, your group, mom, they're so positive and encouraging and how you all helped him raise the funds to get to Rwanda and oh what a blessing this group is praise and pray if you're not in praise and pray journaling you've got to come join us we we pray we share inspiration we laugh and we have our Friday night shenanigans where we all just hang out in the group and share photos and just talk about everything and talk about nothing it's it's amazing each and every day uh, one of the members said, it's my happy place, and it sure is my happy place. I love Praise and Pray so much. It's such a pleasure and a joy to wake up each morning and go, I'm going to Praise and Pray. I want to see what everybody's doing today. And it's, it's a miracle. God has worked a miracle in my life. And my husband said the other day, this is not a community anymore. You guys have built a family. And that's each and every one of us that work together in that group and inspire each other and share and wow I just I'm gonna cry so I'm just gonna stop and I really don't like this here so I'm going to fuss if we take it off while the glue isn't dry maybe we can move it I just I don't know where to put it maybe it's too long I don't know yeah let's leave it there why not we're just gonna go with it I'll leave it there to dry and, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for always being so encouraging and loving and kind and caring. I just, I'm going to cry, so I'm just going to move on. <laughs> thank you again for joining me for Technique Thursday. Have an awesome day, everybody. I will see you next week. God bless.